Hello everybody. It's Heather Nichols here and um, in a very beautiful place in California on the San Joaquin River. Um, and I wanted to talk about creation and money. Um, so uh, in Access Consciousness, we say money follows creation and money follows joy. And to me, creation and joy are, um, they go hand in hand, uh, creation, creating things that haven't existed before, um, is something that is really, really fun for me. And a lot of people that I know and work with as well, um, you know, people that tend to be the seekers of the world, people that are, you know, looking for something more, something greater, curious about what else is possible. Um, tend to be um, people that like to create and um, discover new things and bring new things to life. And so a lot of times that is, that can be a really, a really huge source of joy. And I know for me, um, creation feels like one of those things for me that is vital. Like it actually provides me with a lot of like life energy and, um, and a really, really important part of my life. And we all have these, you know, kind of ebbs and flows with what we're creating and how we're creating and when we're creating and how much we're creating. Um, and a lot of times I have found that, um, when I'm creating a lot, you know, I've, I've seen this in my own life that, oh, money f tends to follow that, you know, um, big periods of massive creation tend to yield, um, well, they, they just sort of create this energy in my world, this like generative energy where, cre where money follows. And it's not a linear thing. It's not, um, something that can be like traced directly to, you know, but it's the sense of like, when I'm really in the flow, I'm really in my, in my like creative zone, you know, um, money tends to show up and, um, and then also when I have had periods where, you know, maybe a lot has changed for me and I kind of, kind of don't know how to create at the moment, like, cause, cause the way we create changes and the, the energies that are available for creation shift and flow and change and ebb. And, um, and sometimes we have those really quiet periods where, you know, it sort of feels like I don't really know what to create or how to create or, you know, yeah, it just everything kind of like the, the basis of all of it just changes. And I've found in those moments that, um, there has been that sense of like money, it, you know, sort of ebbing with creation when creation ebbs, money has ebbed as well. And it's something I've looked at for a long time and wondered, you know, what's, I mean, and I think it's like having ebbs and flows of money is not, uh, it's not a problem if you're, if you're creating, if you're being smart with your money and you're creating, um, you know, reserves. And, and if you have, if you have, if you're also having an like more than enough money flow that in those times of the ebbing of money, um, you know, you're okay. Like you've got, you've got money, you know, you have it. So you can, you can use that when it's, you know, ebbing <laughs> or maybe it ebbs, but the flow is still enough that, you know, it's fine. And that's, that's kind of a real great place to be where there's so much wealth and profit actually in your world that, you know, if there is an ebb of the money flows, um, there's still profit. And that's something that you can just be asking for. Um, asking for profit is an amazing, uh, thing because if you're asking for money, money might, might show up and you're desiring to create money. It, 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 you know, will probably show up, but, um, it's really when you get into profitability that, um, it changes everything and it starts to feel more like you're creating more of a future with money and there's more of a sense of wealth in your world. Um, <laughs> tractors. <laughs> um, so so how do you, how do you work with this whole thing of the ebb and flow of creation and the ebb and flow of money? Well, the, 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 I want to talk a little bit more here about the ebb and flow of creation and we'll, 
you know, I can talk in future videos about profitability and the ebb and flow of that. But um, one of the things that I've noticed for myself is that when creation ebbs and flows, uh, a lot of times it's um, because I, it, you know, there's things that just change and then it takes a moment to reorganize around how I'm creating and what I'm creating. But there's also moments where I've kind of burned myself out so much that my body and my world needs, like I need a break. Um, and that's something I've been looking at a lot lately because there's been, because that's where it's sort of like, that's an ebb and flow of creation that doesn't need to be, you know? Um, sometimes it's just the energy of things and we just sort of, you know, be present and be in question and kind of, you know, like keep going, but there's a sense of like, well, the energy is going to change at some point and then it always does. But when you have an ebb and flow of creation that comes from like more of like a burnout, you know, then that's something that is actually that you can change and, and, and you can change it by, you know, avoiding the burnout in the first place. Um, so making sure that you're weaving into your every single day time to care for you and your body space away from your business, um, time away from your business, from, you know, your creative, um, like your creative endeavors. And the thing is, is that, you know, creation is a very nourishing activity. And a lot of times when you're a seeker and you're like more, 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 um, that can kind of tip into this more kind of place of where we get kind of like activated in our, in our nervous system and more kind of like into that kind of stress zone and things become a little more frenetic. And I know for me, I get so excited sometimes about creation and so like ready to go with it, with it all that, um, it can tip into that kind of more sense of like frenetic, you know, ah, you know, and I've, it's something I've just been really watching lately is, okay, is this, is this actually like nourishing to me and my body and my business, my, my nervous system, you know, or is this more of a sense coming from more of a sense of need or urgency, you know, because if you're coming from need and urgency with creation, A, that's not going to work long-term and B, it's also not going to be the type of creative energy that yields future money and profit flows. Um, that's more of a, there's, there's kind of an, there's a lot of underlying points of view underneath it that are more about, you know, need and lack and, you know, and we always say, you know, your point of view creates your reality. So a lot of times there's these underlying points of view underneath that, you know, what we would call like creative juice, um, that isn't really creative juice. It's more, um, you know, these points of view that are destructive to our futures and our money flows and our creative world. Um, and it requires just getting present, you know, getting really present and noticing, okay, so, you know, how am I going to work with this? Like, how, like, what is this, you know? And, and am I in frenetic? Am I in frantic? Am I in need? And the point of view of like, oh, I'm going to have lack in the future and I need to avoid that. Because if that's where you're functioning from, that's actually what's going to show up as the lack in the future because you're projecting that onto your future and you don't even know it. Um, but if you get into a more of a state of relaxation and ease and flow, which involves, you know, giving yourself the gift every day of doing beautiful, nurturing things for you and your body, um, like putting yourself in nurturing environments like this. I love this place. It's just so, so nurturing for me and my body. Um, and you know, this is a, a flight away from where I live, but, um, but you know, there's, there's, there's places, you know, you can find trees, you know, in most places. Um, and you know, some sort of nature, if that's nurturing for you or whatever it may be, you know, it might be just like a beautiful environment, you know, an architectural environment or something like that. Um, but, but make sure that you're giving yourself the gift of that every day. And even every week, like what if you could take a day or a half a day 
It really is just for you. Um, and, and allow yourself to relax into it and notice if you start to get wound up or you start to worry about your future, notice that and keep it in check, you know, be present with yourself enough to go, Hey, I don't want to, I don't want to function from this. You know, um, I, I need to choose something different here and, and, um, do what you need to do to get yourself back into that inspired place of creation. Cause I find that that is way more sustainable in the long term. It's an energy that grows my world, my reality, my business, um, nurtures my body, like makes everything greater. And that is a space of creation that is not just sustainable, but um, that exponentializes itself. And also, um, you know, as a result, the money flows that and the, the flows of profit that come from there tend to also be way more fluid and consistent and um, just with that sense of like growing over time instead of plummeting, you know, when we get burned out and then the juice dries up and so does the flow of money and profit. So hopefully this was a um, contribution to you. And these are also things that I talk a lot more about in on my podcast, The Entrepreneurial Biome. Um, and that's where we're, you know, the kind of like subtitle of the podcast is nurturing the ecosystem of business, body and living and really looking at, um, really looking at the, um, you know, the, the, how this whole thing is an ecosystem that feeds like the health of one aspect feeds the health of all the other aspects. So there's a lot there on my podcast. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's a playlist here. Um, and there's also my website, heathernichols.com slash podcast, um, where you can catch episodes where I dive a lot more into this. So I hope that was a contribution to you. Thank you so much. And, um, if you enjoyed this, you know, like comment, subscribe, all the things share. Um, I'd love to see a world with where creators and entrepreneurs are really like happy with their bodies and their universe and their business world. And, creating dynamically and, um, and receiving a lot of profit as a result of it. So thanks for being here and I'll catch you next time.